Dear child of God, you ought to be watchful. You ought to be vigilant. Dear child of God, you ought to be alert. You ought to be watchful, looking out for what the enemies are doing. You ought to be watchful so that you will not fall. You ought to be watchful so that you will stand your ground and see that you are defending your walls, so that you are defending your family, so that you are defending your household. The word of God in Matthew 26 verse 41, Jesus was speaking and then he said, watch and pray so that you will not fall. He says, watch and pray. He says, watch. He says, be prayerful. He says, watch. Maintain communion with me. Maintain communication with me. Dear child of God, why did you stop watching? Dear child of God, why did you stop praying? Because the moment you begin to lose your prayer, the moment you begin to lose that time of fellowship with God, the moment you disconnect from your time of fellowship, from your time of relationship with God, dear child of God, from that moment on, you begin to lose your watchfulness. And that is when the enemies many times would always come in to attack. What you do not know is that the moment you stop watching, you are giving rooms for the enemies to penetrate. It says, but while men slept, because the moment you stop watching, you would begin to sleep. Dear child of God, there are many who have gone into spiritual slumber. And it's time that you tell God, please wake me up. It's time that you tell God, please get me to be alert again. It's time that you tell God, help me to stand my ground. Many have gone to the place of sleep. Many have become so restful that they have become complacent. And God is saying that he will use his lamp, he will search and they will punish men that have settled in complacency. The word of God in Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 12 says, And at that time I will search Jerusalem with lambs and punish the men settled in complacency, who say to themselves, The Lord will do nothing, either good or bad. Dear child of God, it's time that you are awake. It's time that you are awake for your family. It's time that you are awake to see that you are standing strong and that you are standing and holding up your household. It's time that you awake and tell God to give you the grace so that you will not miss it, so that you will not get into errors, so that you will not make costly mistakes. It says, watch and pray so that you will not fall. It says, so that you will not fall into temptation. Many are falling and many are still falling because they have stopped being watchful because they have stopped being prayerful indeed it is true that the bible says the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak yes when the weaknesses of the flesh overshadow the willingness of the spirit this is what you get you get people falling you get people losing their strength i pray that god will restore your strength so that you will stand your ground because the moment you stop watching you go to sleep and then the enemies, the evil ones, the devil, the arch enemies, he has at that moment on the avenue to penetrate. But I pray that God will give you the grace. God will give you the special strength. God will give you the special ability that you will stand your ground so that you'll be watchful, so that you protect your household, so that you will not be a casualty. Dear child of God, you will not be a casualty because God will make sure that the enemies fail. God will make sure all those who wanted you to be destroyed, they would all fail. God will make sure he will give you the special ability. He will give you the special strength to stand your ground and to stand strong. He says, but while men slept, his enemy came and saw tears among the wheat and went his way. Matthew 13 verse 25. Dear child of God, Today I ask that the Lord will give you the strength, the special strength and ability to stand your watch, to be awake and to be sober. It says be sober, be vigilant. It says for the devil he goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But I have this good news for you. No member of your family, no member of your household would be devoured in the mighty name of Jesus. No one around you would be a casualty no one around you would be lost because of these things in the mighty name of jesus god will help you god will give you the special grace god will give you the special strength 
to stand your ground and nothing the enemies are doing would ever succeed. Nothing the devil has planned would come to pass. Nothing, not one of them because God has not given approval to them. The word of God in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 6 says, So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. He says, For those who sleep in verse 7, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, my God, he says, since we are the people of the light, since we belong to the day, he says, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. I pray God will help you. God will cause you to be sober. God will give you the grace to be watchful because God has assigned you he has placed you in your family to be that one that will be called the watchman. He had called you to be there to man the gate. He has called you to stand your ground and see to it that nothing the enemies are succeeding. He said he looked for a man. He sought for a man and then he found none. He found none because many had gone to sleep. He found none because many have stopped being watchful. He found none because many have stopped praying. Oh Lord, please have mercy upon us and deliver us from the spirit of prayerlessness. Lord, have mercy upon us and deliver us from the spirit of lack of watchfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever the enemies have done to make you lose your strength, today I pray there will be a restoration of strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will give you the special strength and the special grace and you will snatch from the claws of the enemies all those that are already in captivity, all those that are about to be devoured. In the mighty name of Jesus, special strength and grace is coming upon your life to be awake, to be sober, to have your heart ready and panting every day unto God to see that his will prevails over your life and over your family. Oh Lord, please deliver us from the spirit of prayerlessness in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver as many, oh God, listening right now, as many watching this video right now that has gone to the place of sleep, that have lost their strength because of some situations, because of some challenges, because of some problems facing them. Oh Lord, Please deliver them today. Lord, deliver as many who are saying to you today, restore my strength and deliver my family. Please restore my household and deliver us. The Lord will restore your strength and the Lord will deliver every member of your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there is something God is working out. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, there will be a change. There will be a change in your life. And you will see strength willing up. You will see strength rising up. You will see strength restored unto you again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is, make up your mind that you will not faint. Make up your mind that you will not give up. Dear child of God, whatever it is, make up your mind that you will stand your ground. Make up your mind that you would remain firm. Make up your mind that you will remain strong. Make up your mind that you will remain unmovable. Make up your mind that you will stand to the very end. Make up your mind that you will not give up. You will not give up until you receive the prize. You will not give up until you get the things that you are expecting. Make up your mind that whatever the situations are, you will stand your ground. You would believe in God. You would trust in God to the very end. In Ephesians chapter 3 verse 13, Apostle was admonishing and then he says, Wherefore, I desire that ye faint not. He says, I desire, my desire for you is that you do not faint. He was saying that you should stand your ground. You should remain strong. You should stand strong to the very end that even when things are getting tough, remain firm. Even when the situations are not going the way you have planned them, he was saying, remain strong because it would pay off at the end of the day. Stand your ground. Make sure that you are not giving up in the journey. He says that you should stand firm. You should stand strong. You should not get tired. He was saying, please do not faint. 
no matter what the situation is he was saying please do not faint no matter what the challenges are he was saying do not faint do everything to stand do everything to remain do everything not to become feeble dear child of god there are sometimes in life you have become discouraged there are sometimes in life you have given up and you gave up at the point that your blessing was already locating you you gave up at the face of your breakthrough you gave up at the prime of time you gave up at the time that your joy was supposed to be full he was saying please do not lose heart he was saying do not give up do not faint no matter the situations dear child of god do not faint tell yourself i will remain strong i would remain firm until i receive everything that god have destined for me to receive he says but ye brethren be not weary in well doing second thessalonians chapter 3 verse 13 it says be not weary sometimes because of the things you have been faced with you made up your mind not to do good anymore dear child of god that is not a good decision to make he's saying do not be weary do not get tired in doing well in galatians 6 verse 9 it says that let us not be weary in well doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not he was saying in due season and the time appointed of god you will reap your blessings you will get everything that are meant for you if you do not faint if you do not give up if you do not tire out why don't you ask god for the strength today the word of god in isaiah 40 verse 31 says they that wait upon the lord they shall renew their strength why don't you ask god for the grace to renew your strength today so that you can mount up with wings as eagles so that you can run and not be weary so that you can not faint in your walk dear child of god please stand your ground because the blessings are coming whatever the situations are i want you to know that at the end of the day you will be rewarded so greatly at the end of the day you will get the prize at the end of the day you will get the reward but it is going to come to you if you would make up your mind not to faint. The word of God said, faint not. It says, do not be weary. Do not be tired. It says, brethren, do not be discouraged. Because at due time, at the appointed time, at the time that God has set, you will get everything that are yours. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Dear child of God, remind yourself this every day, that my labor is not in vain. My labor in the Lord is not in vain. So I will do everything to stand my ground. Remember Jesus. Consider him who endured all contradictions. He endured everything possible. He made up his mind that he would not get tired. He says, remember him, consider him, lest you become weary, lest you faint, lest you faint in your mind, lest you stop pursuing, lest you stop standing strong. Ask God to give you the strength and the grace to stand to the very end. Job had an understanding and he said, I know that my Redeemer liveth. He knew that that day will come that his change will locate him that was why it made clear that was why he said that until my change comes he's saying until the time i will receive everything that my heart desires i would refuse to faint i would refuse to tire he says if a man dies shall he live again but all the days of my appointed time i would wait till my change comes why don't you ask God for that staying power, that staying power to stand your ground, to stand strong and to stand tall. Dear child of God, the devil wants you to faint before time because he knows what is coming. So he wants you to give up before time. So tell yourself, I would be unmovable. I would be unshakable. I will stand. I will keep my focus on God. I'll be steadfast. 
till the very end. I only ask God for that strength. I only ask God for that grace so that I will keep doing well. That what the wills of God have for me, all the purposes of God, all the plans of God, I will be able to receive them. He said, I desire that you do not faint. It is my desire, dear child of God, that you would not faint. In the face of opposition, do not turn your back. Stand your ground and tell yourself, I would get everything that I'm mine. I will keep waiting because I know my season, yes, my season for rejoicing will come. In Psalms 104 verse 27, the word of God says, This waits all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. They were a group of people who said they would not give up. They would wait on God. They would stand their ground. And God gave them what was theirs in due season. I have this good news for you. Everything that you have been waiting for will come to you. They will come into your life. They must come. They will come without fail. All you need to do is to say, God, I would wait on you. I will stay strong. I will remain steadfast. I will remain unshakable. I would remain unmovable. My eyes will be fixed upon you. My eyes will stay on you until I get everything that I'm mine. It says that fix your eyes on Jesus. Do not take your eyes away from him because he is the altar and the finisher of your fate. Why don't you put your focus today on the prize? Put your eyes on the goal. Tell yourself, I would fix my heart on God because I know I have a prize to receive. I know I have something to receive from my master. So I would not faint. So I would not tire. So I would not become weary. So I would not give up. I will not allow slackness. I will not allow a slack hand. I will not allow anything that will cause me to get tired on this journey. I would hold my family up would remain in the place of prayer. We'll keep telling God, you know our situation and we are expecting your visitation. Yes, that visitation will come. He knows the time that it will come. And the moment when it comes, he would make your joy full. Dear child of God, I pray for you for the strength. I pray for you for the special ability to come upon your life that you may be patient You will continue patiently with the Lord, seeking for the glory of God, standing strong until everything comes, standing strong and standing firm until you get everything that are yours. He says to them, who by patient continuance, dear child of God, keep following God patiently because everything he said are yours will definitely be yours. Everything he said will come to you would definitely come to you. He says that every one of them who by patient continuance in well-doing kept on seeking the glory and honor and they got it. They got the immortality of life. They got eternal life. In Romans chapter 2 verse 7, dear child of God, I know you will get these things. I know God will make these things available. I know God would be there for you until you get to your own promise, until you get to the fulfillment of your joy. But tell yourself that you will not faint. Tell yourself that you will not tire out. Tell yourself that you will not give up in the journey. Yes, you will not give up halfway until you reach your prize, until you reach your goal, until you reach your goal, until you reach your crown. I pray for you that you will not faint. I pray for you that the ministry that God has given unto you, you will not throw it away until you have received the fullness of the mercy, not to faint and get everything that God has said is yours in the mighty name of Jesus. You would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to testify. You would have reasons to celebrate the King of glory because he gave you all the abilities that you need to stand strong to the very end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Word of God in Exodus 15 verse 16 says, By the power of your arm, they will be as still as a stone until your people pass by. He said, O Lord, until the people you have bought pass by. Dear child of God, he said by his power, by the strength of his hand, by the miraculous working of God, 
He said they will be as still as stone. He was saying the enemies, those that were contending against them, those that were pursuing them to destroy them. He said by the power of God, they will become as still as stone. Dear child of God, everyone against your life, everyone fighting against your destiny, everyone fighting against your home, they have been fighting against your progress night and day. They told you you will know no peace. They told you you are going to suffer. They told you you are going to see pains in your life. They told you they will make your life very miserable. Dear child of God, just go to God and say, Father, by your power, please make them as still as stone. Dear child of God, what the Lord did was that he made them incapacitated. What the Lord did was that he paralyzed them. They could not do the things that they intended. He said that their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise. He said he frustrated their devices. Dear child of God, this day, those who had vowed to do you wrong, those who had vowed to do you evil, God will make them as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. They will discover suddenly they will not be able to attack you anymore because God would have dealt with them with his terrible blow. Dear child of God, he said, by your power, O oh God, they will be as still as stone until your people pass by. Dear child of God, those who have stood in the way of your breakthrough, they stood in the way of your blessing. They said you will not make it. They said you will not make progress in life. Dear child of God, they will watch you achieve the things that they said you will not achieve because God would have made them as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be able to raise their fist against you anymore. Dear child of God, God is going to make you strong. He will give you pace. He will give you speed such that they will not be able to catch up with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you have been bought. You have been bought by God. And then he has decided that he will make your life meaningful. He said he's going to make your life a blessing. He's saying he's going to make your life glorious. Dear child of God, trust him. He said he's going to bless you indeed. He said you're going to eat the good of the land, the people contending against you, from eating the good of the land. Dear child of God, they will become as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. He said he's going to prosper you. He said your promotion is from him. It is not from anywhere. Dear child of God, those who had withstood you, those who sat on your promotion for a long time, this day, God will make them to be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. And you shall be promoted in Jesus' mighty name. Those that said that over their dead bodies, would you marry? Would you come to the place of rest? Would you come to the place of settlement? The child of God, turn to God and say, Father, by your power, by the power of your hand, please make them as still as stone. And dear child of God, the things that they said you will not do, you'll be able to do. God will say to you in the home that you are supposed to be in, in the mighty name of Jesus. God had promised that you will live. He said you will not die. He said you will declare his works in the land of the living. Dear child of God, those that have been injuring you, those that have been fighting against you from declaring the works of God in the land of the living, those that vowed that they were going to destroy you. God has said you will not die. God has said you will live. And those that are opposing that decision of God, dear child of God today, just go to God and say, Father, please, by your power, by your mighty hand, please make them as steel, as stone. And dear child of God, they will see you live. They will see you flourish. They will see you bored. They will see you blossom. And they will not be able to do anything about it. Dear child of God, go to God and say, Father, everyone, who have said I will not make it in life. Everyone who have been fighting against my destiny, please make them as still as stone. That is, they will not be able to attack you again. Those who have been attacking you night and day, those who have made your night very miserable, they made you cry every night. They made you weep because of all the things that they had done, because of all of their threats, their child of God, because of all the malicious acts that they have done against you. Please go to God today and say, Father, you see them, you know them. Please make them as still as stone. And I want to assure you, 
those who have been fighting against you, those who said you will not see progress in life, those who were behind the pains, yes, behind your frustration, behind your suffering, those who were plotting in secret, yes, they had planned in secret to bring you down. Every one of them would be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. This was what God did to make sure his people pass by in safety. Dear child of God, this was what God did to make sure his people escaped. I want you to know today, you pass by in safety. You would escape the wrath of the enemies. Dear child of God, all of the snares, the enchantments, the wickedness of the enemies, none of them would be able to succeed against your life. Because from this day, God will make sure every one of them would be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. So cry no more and say, Father, it is in you I know I have my rest. It is in you I know I have my help. Please come to my rescue. Please come through for me. Please show up for me. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, God will show up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you'll be blessed. He said, you'll be blessed in the city. Dear child of God, he said, you'll be blessed in the country that you are. Those people in that city, those people in that country that had vowed you will not make it. Dear child of God, those people in that nation that vowed that you will not succeed, that are behind everything that you have suffered today, God will make sure they will be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. God had promised you good health. He said that health will be your bread. He said you will live in good health. He said it will take sicknesses away from you. He said you will not be afflicted. Everyone who are behind your afflictions, dear child of God, everyone who are behind the things that you have suffered, who caused you to be down in health, today, God will hear your cry when you say to him, Father, I present them to you by your power, by the power of your hand, O Lord, make them as still as stone. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will discover you would recover you will discover things will begin to change. You will discover there will be a transformation in your health. And those who were behind it, they will not be able to do anything anymore. They will become incapacitated in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will be delivered. Those who have brought you into captivity, yes, they have brought you into the house of bondage today. As God did for his people and made sure he took them out of the house of bondage and made them to enjoy life, and made them to enjoy rest, and made them to enjoy his blessings. Dear child of God, this is how God will do for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, he would make sure he brings you out of that captivity. Dear child of God, he will make sure he brings you out of that bondage, and every one of them shall be as still as stone. In the mighty name of Jesus, when the Lord did it for Paul and Silas, that was how it happened. Yes, he made sure he showed forth his transforming power that even the jailer was almost taking his own life until God showed him mercy. They'll become a still as stone. Your captors, yes, your tormentors, dear child of God, the Lord will deliver you and make sure each and every one of them would become a still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. He had declared he's going to do it and this he will do in the mighty name of Jesus. So go to him and say, Father, by the power of your hand, yes, they will be as still as a stone until your people, until my people, until my children, until everyone connected to me get to the place of their blessings, get to the place of their rest, get to the place of their upliftment. Make them as still as stone. Those who have been waiting on the way to relay you, dear child of God, they have been finding ways to bring you down. They have been finding some loopholes around you to destroy you, dear child of God, to see that your image, to see that your name is tarnished. Today, God will make sure that they become as still as stone and they will not be able to succeed against your life ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust the Lord God of heaven, who had promised to give you victory, who said you are more than a conqueror, who said you are more than a victor. Trust him and I want to assure you, you would experience victory, glorious victory you would experience in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So pray like Moses and say, Father, by your power, please make them, yes, by the power of your hand, please make them as still as stone until we go to a place of rest, 
until we go to the place of our promise. Yes, the things that you have said we are going to receive. Please make those enemies, those are tormentors, those are oppressors, make them as still as stone until everything is given to us. And dear child of God, I want to assure you, you would have everything given to you in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus, and they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted you destroyed, dear child of God, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted you dead, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted your name destroyed, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted to see that you are in pain, dear child of God, they will not be able to do anything again, ever again, in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust Jehovah who gives his people rest and he will give you rest. I'm assured of this. He will give you rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go forth for you will testify saying that God have made your enemies, your tormentors, your pressures to become a steel, a stone. Go forth for you will testify. And at the end of the day, you would be able to say you have stand your watch, you have stand your ground and you have stood as that watchman that God have called you to be in your household. Whatever the enemies have done, whatever it is that may have caused you to become weak, I pray that God will restore your strength today, your strength, your spiritual strength, that you may stand strong and stand your ground to the very end, that you may be watchful, that you may do all the things that heaven have assigned you to do in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, the devil always wants to come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he has failed because God is giving you that strength. Yes, God is giving you that special ability. And you will stand your watch. You will stand your ground. And nothing the enemies have planned would ever succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you the victories, dear child of God. Because you are more than a conqueror. You are more than an overcomer through Jesus Christ. And there will be no casualty in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you will not mourn for anyone because the Lord God himself will give you the grace of preservation and you will stand your ground and you will not allow anyone to be taken off your family. Yes, God have not approved of any of these things and it will not happen in the mighty name of Jesus. God will call you to the tower and you will stand your watch to see that you are not allowing anything to happen to happen against your life or against any member of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, if the man of the house was watchful, then the thief wouldn't have been able to break in. I pray that you'll be watchful. I pray that you'll be vigilant. I pray that you'll be on alert. I pray that you'll be watchful. And God would help you to have the victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will rejoice all the days of your life. You will stand your ground knowing that God is helping you, knowing that God is seeing you through in the mighty name of Jesus. The woes, the errors that have come from complacency will be gone today in the mighty name of Jesus. And God will help you to see that your family are secured by the grace and by the might and strength of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You would not lose your watchfulness. You would not lose your prayer strength in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not lose your abilities to stand your ground and see victories and see victories achieved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and do you well all the days of your life in Jesus mighty name. May the Lord preserve everything that connects to you. May the Lord take care of you and take care of your household in Jesus mighty name. Amen. It is well with you beloved. God bless you and shalom.